Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the respiratory system. We've done some fun challenges relating to our respiratory system from time to time. For example, holding our breath. We've done this when we were kids. So how long can you hold your breath? 10 seconds? 30 seconds? A minute? All professional swimmers practice holding their breath for a long time so they can swim more underwater but eventually they were just out of breath that's because we need to breathe otherwise our faces will turn purple and we would collapse but that's not the only reason we need to breathe we need it for something more important we need oxygen inhaled to our body so that we can survive oxygen is a gas present in the air in our atmosphere oxygen is driven to our cells by the respiratory system and also we love breathing it's a form of relaxing the respiratory system is a set of organs connected to perform the respiration that's breathing in and out fun fact learners did you know that children and women breathe faster than men is it because of their smaller nose well who knows so what is the respiratory system composed of it contains the diaphragm, which is used to help us breathe. When we breathe in, air is forced through the mouth or nose, down the windpipe into the bronchial tubes and into our lungs. Then the lungs collect the oxygen from the air we breathe. Well, your lungs are actually the main component of the respiratory system. They are like socks that fill up with oxygen as you breathe in. Each of the socks get this deposits of oxygen our circulating blood then collects the oxygen from your lungs and then feeds them to our cells cells are the smallest building blocks of our body they make up the tissues that make up our organs like our heart or our eyes they are so small that you need a microscope to see them but did you know that cells get hungry too what do they eat all of your cells make use of the oxygen as their food in return, they give off waste gas in the form of carbon dioxide. Alveoli plays a very important role in collecting oxygen. They are tiny air sacs that allow oxygen to be passed into your red blood cells. There are millions of these in your lungs. Since a buildup of carbon dioxide can be deadly, our body needs to get rid of it and the respiratory system is in charge of making sure it is removed as you exhale. Waste gases can also be in the form of your burps and your farts. Fun fact learners, lungs and tennis courts can be the same. What do lungs and a tennis court have in common? It's their size. It seems pretty impossible, but if the lungs were opened flat, they would be so big that they would cover the size of a tennis court. Amazing, right? So how exactly do we inhale? When you take a breath, your diaphragm begins to contract and flatten out. The diaphragm begins to move and gives your lungs more room so they can grow larger. In other words, your lungs are filling with air. At, at the same time, your rib muscles are also starting to move to give your lungs more room. When you are breathing in air through your nose or mouth, it enters your windpipe and windpipes are tiny hairs called cilia. They move around slowly, making sure that no dirt or mucus enters your lungs. How about breathing out? How do we exhale? One of the amazing things about alveoli is it helps to remove waste gas from blood. This is called carbon dioxide. Your diaphragm helps to push this air out and basically gets rid of the carbon dioxide out of your system, allowing you to breathe fresh air back in again the next time you take a breath. So how do the lungs work? The lungs take up a lot of space in the chest area and are protected by the ribs. Air enters your body either through your nose or your mouth. This travels down your windpipe or the trachea. The air then enters your lungs through tubes called mainstem bronchi. The tubes split up between the left lung and the right lung. Next, the bronchi split into even smaller tubes that are called bronchioles. And lastly, the air is passed to the alveoli. 
Important facts, learners. Have you noticed some hair up your nose? Well, it helps a lot to filter dust particles so that we don't inhale them. The last thing you would want is that any type of this dust particles enters your lungs. Noses also warm up the air before entering the lungs so we don't feel it too cold or too hot. Okay, so going back to the topic. How about talking? The respiratory system also helps us when we talk. Air is forced to the vocal cords and helps them to vibrate which is basically the sound we hear when we are talking or trying to sing. And why do we get out of breathe when running? As your breathing increases, you build up more carbon dioxide in the body and the respiratory system starts to trigger to bring more oxygen into the body. Your breathing will return to normal if the carbon dioxide and oxygen is balanced out or enough for our body. Cigarette smoking has also been proven to cause conical respiratory diseases. So if you want healthy lungs, don't smoke. Eating healthy food and exercise are wonderful ways of making your lungs healthy. So stand up and jog sometimes for a healthy respiratory system. So that's why we just can't hold our breath for very long because we need to breathe so bad. Now let's be healthy every day and be happy. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.